I can't be living off checks. Burn the sets when I'm stressed. EPE what I rap. Yeah, yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Chosen One with two guns. Repping that EMZ Bitch TV. First thing first, make sure you smash that sub button, like, share, comment, all the above, all that good stuff. Now check it, check it, check it. Today we got Goofy of the Day goes to brrr, the rapper TK, man. TK has to get the Goofy of the Day, bro. Man, this guy, right? This guy killed. He went, he, him, first of all, him and five other people planned to rob this dude for drugs and money. They go rob the dude. He ain't have no drugs, no, no money. They shot one of the guys. He ended up living. The other guy got shot and died, right? That's one situation. Then, fast forward, a year goes by, right? This guy, TK, is out there on the street. He shoots another guy. This is a photographer. Shoots and kills him only for uh, his photography, for his, for his camera. For a camera that costs like, probably like $500 to $1,000, bro. So anyway, y'all, today... Today he lost he lost trial, bro. Simple as that. Today he lost trial, man. He he his trial lasted about two weeks. The whole the first murder happened in 2016, so this whole thing lasted about four years. You feel me? When the trial started, it took two weeks. It was like, look, man, this been taking too long. We are gonna get him out of here. Now he's getting goofier today because he had a chance to cop out, like one of his friends pimp did. His pimp, I mean, his friend pimp copped out and copped out to 30 years because he didn't take it to trial. TK gets goofy because he really thought that he was going to beat that jump, bro. Like, you, that this happened in Texas, bro. And when y'all don't know the rules in Texas, if a body happens, and even if you're the driver, you could be outside smoking a cigarette and you could up on these guys, you could say that you didn't know you're still going down. It doesn't matter, you feel me? Then on top of that, on, on top of that, he already had shot another guy right then on top of that he makes a song called the race which was taunting the police talking about how he be shooting people and he be doing this and that and he's a goony goon i bet you a goony goon is what you do so you got to take it down but you got to take it because you put up a song you got famous right for something that you so-called say that you did right you know what i'm saying then now you get caught now you over here talking about you didn't know that they was going to kill him. This and that. Nobody trying to hear that, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is why he gets goofier today. He could have copped out and gotten 25, probably 30 years. Now he would have gotten 30 years. He would have easily gotten 30. He wasn't going to get no less. No matter what, TK wasn't going to get no less than 30 years. TK would have gotten 30 years if he didn't take it to trial. He took it to trial. Now he's never coming out of jail. I'm telling you, he's going to get smoked. They're going to get him at least 50, 60 years. It's a wrap. The reason why you don't take it to trial is so you could get a good number. When you got murder on your back, especially uh, premeditated, because that's premeditated because they planned it. They planned to go in and rob this guy. So since it's premeditated, you get smoked even more because you planned it. It's not like it happened. It's not like you would, let's say if they was chilling at that guy's crib, they broke into an argument and somebody just got shot and then he died. That's something different. Then you could have argued the fact. But for the fact that he admitted, TK admitted, he admitted that he knew that they were going to rob on people. He admitted that they all had weapons. But the only thing that he said that he didn't know that anybody's going to get shot. You can't do that, bro. You can't say that. You can't say that you knew that you was going to go in there and rob anything. You can't say that you forced it, that you, that you knew. You can't say that you ever know. You can't. You could, you could, you, anything, you can never say that you knew that you was going to do a crime, like, before it happened. You can't ever say that, bro. So, him copping out to knowing he was going to do the crime for our robbery, right? His lawyer probably was telling him, on top of that, he had a booty lawyer. His lawyer was telling him, well, take a, let's cop, let, 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 let's cop out to the, let's cop out to the robbery. They were going to, then we're going to fight and say that, well, since you copped out to the robbery, you're not going to cop out to the shooting because you really didn't shoot nobody. The guy that shot the guys in that, in that, in that, in that home invasion, they already copped their plea and they, and, and they took the, they took the charge. 
the guy that got shot in the stomach, the one who shot the guy in the stomach, right? He got hit with uh with thirty to forty years, right? Then the other guy, the other guy who supposedly shot the guy and ended up bodying him, he had to do life. You know, the white though there was a white girl and a black girl. There was two girls that set up set up the whole thing. The white girl, right? She was the one that was more cooperative. Like she, 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 she was the first one to say everything. Like she, she said everything. She said, "Yeah, uh, the plan was to come rob my boyfriend because he got he had guns and drugs, or whatever the hell." Like that's how grimy she was. Her man was the dude inside. She got taken and dumped to come in the crib and rob him. That's how grimy she was, bro. She got here with twenty years, mind you. She's a white girl. She's a white girl guy here with 20. TK should have been like, damn, man, I'm a black kid in Texas. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to get smoked. Like, let me take these, let me take this 30 years like my, like my boy Pimps did, and I'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Look, TK is like, what, 18 right by now? Because he's been locked up since for the past two years, right? So TK would have came out of jail at, like, let me see. Let's say, uh, let's say he's 18 right now. He would have came out at, man, 30. Like 48, he would have been like, nah, he would have probably came out like at 40, 43, maybe even 40 years old because laws tend to change after that many years, you feel me? Like I've seen guys that that, that 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 are in some deep stuff and been sitting down like they got hit with life sentences and they ended up coming out and they out here walking and stuff because the laws change so much. And when a certain president come in and this and that, before you know it, they land people out because oh, jail is overpopulated uh, and they need space for new people like what happened to Soldier Boy. So Soldier Boy just got out because it's in, it's in capacity all over the world. Not all over the world, but in America. It's in capacity. There's way too many people getting locked up because the cops out here wilding. They arresting people for any damn reason. Any little thing, you're going to jail. Any little thing, you're going to jail. So that's why the jails is like this man you feel me so basically to say that to say this TK really could have just took them 30 years knowing what you did knowing that you got caught the it's the ride is over bro the ride bidding was over you know what I mean it was over you you was with us you was with some friends that did something messed up y'all got caught bro y'all all got caught it happens, bro. When you get caught, everybody's supposed to take, they really, really everybody's supposed to take a part of the deal. You're not supposed to go to trial and beat anything. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to just, I right, bet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What number can you give me? You're not supposed to take it to trial because you was involved in it. You gotta remember, bro. If TK and them didn't go in the house to begin with, they, that would have never happened. That's how they looking at you, like, bro. First of all. We don't care that you copped out to uh, to robbery. We don't care about that. If you guys didn't go in that house to begin with, the guy would have still been alive. And you shot another person in the stomach that actually ended up living by the grace of God. You could have looked at him as another body. Oh, and on top of that, in 2017, oh yeah, I, I said, and on top of that, in 2017, there's another guy that ended up getting murked supposedly by TK. TK has to go fight this one too. So TK is about to get smoked for this one, right? When Whenever he goes and fights the other one, it's over. Because he already got a body on his back. They're going to look at him, well, you just got you just got hit with a body though. Like, in the other part of Texas, right? That's how they're going to look at him. They're going to be, let's all you're going to be like, yeah, but this and this and that. How can you tell that my that my client was the one that did this to the photographer? Look, they ain't trying to hear none of that. At the end of the day, TK was on fire, bro. He did a song mocking, and, and, and you know what I mean? Mocking the cops. You know what I mean? Mocking the cops. Showing off that he's on the race from the cops. You feel me? He was on a, he was on the race for a minute. He was on the run for a minute. And they caught him. They actually caught him right here in my hometown, bro. Right here in Eastwick, they caught this guy in my hometown, Eastwick. I don't know how he got over here, bro, because cause Texas is far from where, from, from where we at right now. Texas is far as hell. Somehow, he made it from Texas all the way to here, to my hood, Eastwick, and he got caught over here. And I've been saying it from the beginning. I said, look, 
he got a dope song. I like that song or whatever. But what he did, he's gonna get smoked because they got caught. It's too many people. It was him, two other guys, and two girls that was involved in this. That's too many people. Once you get caught and there's that many people off the rip, you gotta think, okay, you gotta tell your lawyer, I right, lawyer, like, what's the best, what's the best time I can get, man? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to take the plea. I'm going to say I have part in it, but we have to figure out what's the best number I could get since I really wasn't the killer. I wasn't the one who necessarily shot, all right? So I should get a decent number because I didn't necessarily shoot. So if he would have took it, if he didn't take it to trial, maybe he probably, who knows, maybe he probably would have even gotten 20, 25, even though I doubt it. I still think he would have gotten like 30 to 40, you know what I mean? Because it was premeditated. They planned it ahead. You know, then he's fighting another body. Then on top of that, he beat up some guy. He beat up some white old guy, right, for his money or something like that. Beat him up bad, man. You know what I mean? And this guy is suing TK right now as we speak. So he got all of this on top of him. And he decides to go to trial thinking that just because he pleaded guilty to the robbery that they should be lenient and let him go. Basically let him go. Because he didn't mean for nothing like that to happen because he wasn't necessarily the shooter. Bro, what kind of goofy move with that, bro? That was a goofy move, bro. That was very, very goofy, bro. You know what I mean? That's very goofy, my dude. Anybody gonna say that was a goofy move? You can't say that you're guilty for the robbery, but then you're not guilty for what happened to the person in the robbery. It doesn't work like that. That's a goofy move. That's why you're getting goofy the other day, because that's a goofy move. That's the only reason why TK is getting goofy the other day. Because he really had a chance to be like, nah, man, you know what I mean? Uh, judge, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to do my time. Yeah, I was a part of it. What's up? What's up, man? You know what I mean? And 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 the lawyer would have just, you know what I mean? He would have tried to battle for you to get like 20, you know, get at least 20 years. He might have gotten 20. Who knows? Maybe he would have. If he didn't take it to trial, and he would have been like, look, man, I'll take 20 right now. But the thing is, in TK's head, is that he's fighting another one. So in TK's head, is like, if you would have pleaded guilty to that, then he's basically guilty to the other one. So TK was probably looking like, well, if I get 20 on this case, and I plead guilty to that, then the other case is going to look at me like, well, he got to be guilty then because he just be guilty to this case. So the other one's going to be looking at him like, well, you definitely guilty. And then the third one, the one where he beat the heck out of that guy, they're going to be like, well, he definitely did that because this boy was a loose can. He was a loose goose, loosey goosey. You know what I mean? We call that loosey goosey because he was loose for a whole two years. He was wilding out. He was doing his thug dizzle and got caught. This is the thing. This is the thing that I don't like about certain people they wild out right they wild out they the hardest gangster they be doing the most i hear but when they get back they ain't trying to do nothing it doesn't work what you mean you ain't trying to do nothing you bagged bro you got bagged even when these guys i seen guys that get bagged they still like no no i didn't do it no no i didn't do it they ain't got nothing on me dog i mean sometimes you can beat it if they ain't got really nothing on you like no no nothing nothing but in tk's case bro there was too many people bro way too many people and everybody that was copping out already nobody took it to trial he was the only one so he's gonna get smoked they look they're gonna use tk as an example you feel me? They're going to use him as, as an example for this not to ever happen to nobody ever again. They don't want anybody to go out there murking people, right? Then do a song after it and blow up like TK did. TK really blew up off of a song mocking the police, right? In the video, in the beginning of the video, he's standing next to his own warrant, uh, his own wanted poster, right? Like, let's say I'm over here, right? Like, I'm taking, I'm standing like this in my video, right? The wanted poster is right here where my hand is at. He's lighting up an L with the wanted poster right here, and he's lighting up an L. You see what I'm saying? You can't do all of that stuff, and then later on get caught, and then you want to, you know what I'm saying? You want to not do nothing. I'm sorry, it don't work like that, bro. It just doesn't, bro. This is why a lot of people, when they come down to murking, they go by themselves. They they can't do this with nobody else. You can't. 
when they come out of this murk game, you can't be doing that with nobody else, bro. Because first of all, when they get bagged, ain't nobody gonna try to do 50 years for you being a shooter. But you're, you're the shooter, and you're not even owning up to your own thing. You feel me? Them, the, whoever was the shooter in the beginning, he should have owned up from the from the rip. Like, no, I was the one that did it. But yeah, he let everybody basically go go down for it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody basically went down for one body. It is what it is. Besides the white girl, because the white girl cooperated. It is what it is. This is why you gotta watch out what you do and and who you around, bro. It is what it is. That was a goofy move, bro. He had he, matter of fact. If I think about it now, he did like five goofy things. In this one goofy other day that I'm talking about. You feel me? He took it to trial. He made a song mocking the police, right? In front of his wanted thing, right? He gets caught by the guy that, that he beat up. I don't know how this guy knows it was him, but he knows it's him, right? Then he got called for another body. That's in that other place that he's about to go fight right now. He got like five goofies, man. Five goofy situations. That he should have took it like as a G because if you a G to do that stuff, right? You got to be a G when you get bagged. It is what it is, especially when they have info or evidence on you. Like, like this guy saw his face and everything, bro. Like the guy that he beat up, like he left him bad. Like this guy saw him, he know exactly how take it. Yo, take it don't look like a lot of people, man. TK really don't. He's skinny. He looks like a... Well, back in that time, he was 16, so you could imagine. He looked like a little kid. He don't got no facial hair at all. And he got a, he got like a funny kind of looking face. His face looks... His face... He don't got a face of a normal 16-year-old like that. His face is different. Basically, if he does something, and that person... And he gets caught, and they put him in a lineup, and the victim shows up, and he's looking at him in the lineup. It'll be easy to pick out TK. That's my example. It'll be easy to pick him up because his face is not is not like um it, 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 he don't have like a like a very popular norm you know what I mean normal type of face. He look different. My my thing is he look different. He's a different type of looking guy. You feel me? Or a kid? Well, he was a kid. Now he's a man, but he still looked the same. Like the way he looked now is the same way he looked it when he was 16. The only difference now is that he gained hella weight when he was in that court day and he turned his neck. Bro, his neck he got like a hot dog neck. They call it the hot dog neck. He got hot dog packs like this, and he was skinny when he came in, and he fat as hell. He fat, and then on top of that, I'm looking at the video. Right? I was going to do a video to this, but I was like, nah, let me wait until this is over because I already know where this is going and I'm going to give him the goofy. I already knew he was going to lose. I, I didn't want to do too many videos of him going to court. He went to court. He been going to court for the past few days. People have been talking about it. I just didn't want to go and be like, yeah, take him to court today. He's trying to plead that this and that. I was like, nah, I'm just going to wait until they hit him and then I'm going to do it all together because I'm giving him goofy of the day because I already knew this was happening. I, I seen it coming. I seen it coming because it was too it was too many people, y'all. You know what I mean? And like I said before in a lot of videos, you know, anybody could get bagged. It's what you do after you get bagged that makes you who you are. You know what I mean? You have to you have to be a G also about what you do at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, if you got balls enough to do all of this stuff, if they get you, dog, they get you. I'm sorry. They got you. They got you. You can't still be trying to be free in the streets when 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 you did all of this stuff and you got back, bro. It, you know what I mean? It, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, that was a goofy move, bro. That was a hundred percent goofy. You know what I mean? None of his boys took it to trial. He really thought that he was gonna be the slick one to end up beating this and make it to the street and still continue to do. Cause I'm telling you, he he's he's young. And he would have beaten this, he wasn't going to stop, I'm telling you. Because there's something that you get inside of you when you on that type of road that there's no going back. He just would have been like, well, I'm not getting caught. I, I'm the man now. Next time I just do it even better, I'll do it by myself. You know what I'm saying? Because that happened too quick and too fast. If he would have if he would have ended up beating it by any somehow, the people would have thought that, man, he was Illuminati or something like that. I'm telling you, because there was, there was no way he was going to get out of this. There was no way. If he would have ended up being this, a lot of people would have been like, what the hell? I'm telling you, they would have thought he was Illuminati or something. Everybody, there's no way anybody would have been that. Any black person or Hispanic person in Texas that premeditated a situation like that and somebody ends up getting shot and murked 
two people. Two people got shot. One one got murdered. So and he you know, like I said, he got all this other stuff, bro. So damn, you feel me? I feel kinda bad for him as the years he's about to get. But like I said, at the end of the day, you was you was with a squad. You go down with your squad. This is how it is. You don't you don't do something and then you just be out. Like, oh no, I'm out, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't know that was gonna happen. It doesn't work like that, man. When you go in with the Thule, anything can happen because you're going with the Thule. If it was that serious, right, y'all could have just went in there with a with a banger, with a shank. You know what I'm saying? And be like, yo, man, just give me what you got. I'm a pokey pokey. You know what I'm saying? But y'all y'all go in there with the grip. Most of the time when you go in there with the grip and you're trying to get somebody and he got his girl next to him, he not about to just let you. That's another thing, too. The girl that cooperated, she said that she had her arms up, her boyfriend had his arms up, and they still shot him in the stomach for no apparent reason. Bro, they made these guys look like they were monsters, bro. You feel me? I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't feel too much sorrow for somebody that had a chance to cop out like everybody else, but decided that he wasn't because he thought he knew better he thought he knew more than the system oh he had that mind frame mind state they ain't got nothing on me they ain't got nothing on me he went in with that mindset you you can't do that especially when you do something with that many people you can't go in with they ain't got nothing on me g nah man i got this homie i got this nah you ain't got nothing bro all these all, all of these situations two bodies that guy that got beat down, he over there, over here talking about suing you. He, the, you, the only reason why he not going to get no money from you is because you about to do the rest of your life in jail. So he not getting no money off of you. You feel me? It is what it is. He beat for that. But forget that. It's about your life and your freedom. You could have done 25 years, but either way, he was going to get smoked. I ain't even going to hold you. Either way, he was going to get smoked. Either way. Because even if he would have gotten 20, 25 off that first one, the second one he would have to do 20, 25. That's a total of 50. Well, yeah. He wasn't going to do life in jail. But he would have ended up coming out like at 60, 50 years old. 70 maybe. I don't know. But that's that's damn near life to me. That's life. That's life to me, man. If you're 20 years old and you get hit with 40, 50 years that's life because you don't about to you about to spend the rest of your life in jail by the time you get out you are old man you're wrinkly you old your bones ain't working no more you can't even worry because you you know what i mean it's it's crazy y'all it's crazy damn take care you like like you really had the chance to get out of this in a, in a good number you know what i mean there's no way around it now you got smoked and you're gonna get smoked from the next one and then that other guy situation i don't know man they might just give you time served and be like look he about to do the rest of his life in jail anyway so this whole thing about that guy getting beat up let's just add that to the time served you know what i mean what they gonna do hit him with 300 years you know what i mean like el chapo they hit el chapo with like 100 years el chapo like 70 65 how Chopper only got like 20 more years to live anyway. You know what I mean? But there, there it is, family. There it is, man. I said, yo, TK has to get this goofy, man. That's a goofy move, for real, for real. That's a real goofy move. You don't say that you you and your people's playing something and y'all knew y'all was going to go in there with the blicky, with the, you know what I mean, with the, with the strap. You knew you was going to go in there with the strap. You can't turn around and say, I didn't know that was going to happen. Like in the Junior case, Justice for Junior. There's a bunch of those Trinitario guys that's doing the same thing. How oh, I didn't know. I didn't know we was going to poke him up. No, there's none of that, man. There's none of that that I didn't know stuff. Yeah, I, I got to cut that out that I didn't know. I didn't know this was going to happen, though. There's none of that. I don't work, bro. Once, you, once you're officially caught with being in the situation, you have to think about, okay, what's the least number I could cop out to? That's it. There's no more fighting it, bro. That's it. Because first of all, the odds against us is already bad because we black and Hispanic. It's already bad enough. So when you give somebody something like that, you know what I mean, of involving yourself in an incident, when you give the system that, they're going to smoke you, bro. They're going to smoke you, you know? It is what it is, y'all, but Goofy of the day, man, I have to go to take K, man. Damn, bro. You could have really gotten out like 
whining. Yeah, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hope y'all like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash that like button, and drop a comment. Also, for those who want to show love and support the EMD TV, just cash app, PayPal, and Venmo located in the description box in every video. Chosen one, two guns, EMD, don't forget the TV, 100.